Yusef Kirond Lul, a pivotal figure in Uganda's political history, served as the country's president for a brief but impactful tenure in 1979. His leadership came during a time of immense political upheaval and transition following the fall of Idi Amin's dictatorial regime. Though his presidency was short-lived, Lule's contributions to Uganda's post-Amin era and his enduring influence on the nation's political landscape have cemented his legacy. Early life and education, Yusuf Lule was born on April 10, Elfu Moja na Mia Tisa na Kumi na Mbili in Kampala, Uganda into a family that valued education and public service. His father, a prominent leader, instilled in Lul the importance of contributing to society, an ethos that would guide him throughout his life. Lul attended King's College Budo, one of the most prestigious schools in Uganda, where he excelled academically and showed early signs of leadership. His stellar performance earned him a scholarship to study abroad, marking the beginning of a distinguished academic journey. Lul pursued higher education at Fort Hare University in South Africa a notable institution that produced many African leaders. There he studied social sciences, developing a keen interest in governance, social justice, and education. He later furthered his studies at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, where he completed a degree in education. This strong educational background laid the groundwork for his future roles in academia and politics. Career in academia and public service, before entering politics, Lul established himself as an accomplished academic and administrator. He held various positions in educational institutions across Uganda and East Africa, contributing significantly to the development of the region's educational framework. His expertise in education earned him respect and recognition, leading to his appointment as the first African principal of Makari University College, now Makari University, one of Africa's leading higher education institutions. Lul's tenure at Makari was marked by progressive reforms aimed at enhancing the university's academic standards and expanding access to higher education for Ugandans. His focus on inclusivity and educational excellence mirrored his broader vision for a more equitable society. During this time, Lul became increasingly involved in the Pan-African movement, advocating for the decolonization of Africa and the empowerment of its people, political rise and presidency. The political turmoil in Uganda during the 1970s set the stage for Lul's unexpected rise to power. Under Idi Amin's rule, the country experienced extreme repression, economic collapse, and widespread human rights abuses. Amin's ousting in April 1979 by a combined force of Tanzanian troops and Ugandan exiles left a power vacuum that needed to be swiftly filled in the aftermath of Amin's fall. The Uganda National Liberation Front, UNLF, a coalition of anti-Amin groups, was established to guide the country through a transitional phase. Lule, known for his integrity, intellect, and leadership experience, was chosen as president by the UNLF's National Consultative Council, NSC, in April 1979. His appointment was seen as a unifying move, aimed at stabilizing the nation and rebuilding trust among a population traumatized by years of dictatorship. Challenges of leadership, Lul's presidency began with high expectations, but it was fraught with challenges. One of his primary tasks was to restore order and rebuild institutions that had been decimated under Amin's rule. He faced the daunting challenge of re-establishing basic governance, reviving the economy and addressing the deep-seated ethnic and political divisions within Uganda. A major point of contention during his brief administration was the distribution of power. Lul's attempt to centralize authority in the office of the president was met with resistance from members of the NCC, who feared the emergence of another autocratic leader. This tension highlighted the delicate balance required to navigate Uganda's fractured political landscape, where regional and ethnic loyalties often superseded national unity despite his efforts to implement policies aimed at national recovery. Including plans to rejuvenate the economy and foster social cohesion, Lul's presidency was short-lived. After just 68 days in office, he was removed from power by the NCC in June 1979 due to disagreements over constitutional interpretation and governance structure. His removal sparked widespread protests and demonstrated the deep-rooted political fractures within the UNLF, legacy and influence, though Lul's presidency was brief. His influence on Ugandan politics and his vision for a democratic society left an enduring impact. 
His commitment to justice, education, and national unity continued to inspire future generations of Ugandan leaders. Many viewed Lule's ousting as a lost opportunity for meaningful and stable governance, but his ideals lived on through political movements and leaders who championed democracy and reform. Following his removal, Lou remained an active figure in Uganda's political diaspora. He joined forces with other exiled leaders and became the head of the Uganda Freedom Fighters, UF, an organization dedicated to opposing the regime that succeeded him. His advocacy for democratic principles and the rule of law reinforced his image as a steadfast leader committed to the betterment of Uganda. Lou's contributions were recognized posthumously. As many Ugandans came to appreciate his efforts to set the country on a path toward recovery after the brutality of Amin's rule, he passed away on January 21, in London, where he had spent his final years advocating for Uganda from abroad. His death marked the end of an era but also solidified his legacy as a beacon of integrity and hope for a better Uganda. Conclusion Yusuf Lule's life and career exemplify the challenges faced by leaders striving to guide their nations through times of profound crisis. Although his presidency was short, the principles he stood for, education, democracy, and national unity continued to resonate with Ugandans long after his departure from office. His story is a reminder of the complexities of leadership in post-colonial Africa and the enduring importance of visionary leaders committed to the public good. Todai, Yusuf Lule is remembered not just for the brevity of his time in power, but for the depth of his commitment to building a better Uganda.